Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to refactor this little application to use uh, a custom hook. Um, I created this application for a uh, React Hooks course. Basically, you can type something here and search. So this application gets some data from a Rick and Morty API. So you basically here we are searching characters from the API. And this is the course in, ca in case you are interested in following it. Um, so I go step by step uh, into creating the app. And if you just want the, the code, you can basically get it from here. I will put all these links in the description below. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is to create a new uh, file for the hook. This will be called use uh, search rig API. And here we will create our new hook. It will be called use search rig API. It's important that you always use the same convention. Uh, you must start with the word use. This is uh, useful for linters to check for the, the different rules that apply to hooks. So basically, uh, that's very important to, to, to keep the, the convention. And, the, and here we will basically use this, uh, this logic from the search component. The logic will be very similar. You just need to make some adjustments. Uh, for example, we won't be using the, the query state variable. Uh, this search will come from the from here as an argument. It's an argument here. Um, this handle submit will still be uh, handled from the search. And here we need the page, but this will be here at the top. And let's see, um, we still want to do this check here, but um, I will do that from here. So, oh, oh, I need to move this variable here at the top. Okay. Set data, search character. So it looks correct. But in this hook, we won't render anything. We want to return the data that we get from the API and this variable called loading. So we know that we are basically fetching the data from the API from any other uh, component that we use this hook. And here I'm getting this warning. Oh, basically I need to import Axios. Uh, Axios, I spelled this wrong. Okay, I think this looks fine. Now let's try to use this in the search component. So the first thing we want to do is to remove uh, the things that we want to use here. Now that we have the the custom hook using the use effect, we don't need this here. We won't be using Axios here. Um, the this data will be handled inside the custom hook. Uh, we don't need this loading. And here we will be calling the the new hook. So let's do this. This will be called data, but we won't have a setter. This will be just loading, data and loading. Those are the two state variables that will be returned by the hook. And here, this will be called use search 
brick API and the initial value will be the search that comes from this variable here. Okay, so here I need to import the hook. So this will be use uh, search rig API and uh, this will be the same, but we won't be using this function here because that's part of the custom hook. So this will be a lot cleaner now. We only we will only call the hook and when the form is submit we will be updating the search variable so that will be sent here to the to the custom hook and basically everything should be working now here let's save this and let's check out the browser This is works, so that's cool. So now let's go to the details page. Um, and here is basically the same process. We won't use any of this. This we want this uh, this component won't have any state basically. Um, so let's remove this and let's use this uh, state here to call the custom hook so this will be called use search rig api and the initial value will be the route.id instead of uh, the search like in the other case because for this component, we get the the name of the character from the route. So this we will be this parameter here. But since we are using the custom hook, we don't need this code. So let's remove all this code from here. And this will be our our new component, a lot cleaner and we will be reusing code so that's very cool but we get an error oh we don't even have we didn't import the custom hook so let's do that you search rig api and we want to be using axios and the spinner yes so okay seems like it's working now so let's click on any of these characters like glasses morty and we are getting some kind of error here react is defined but never use uh, but this is a warning uh, okay we got an error i know what it is Okay, so the bug is that when we call the API here, we don't need to, to pass any variable we, in, in the query string. So f to, to get the, uh, the character, we just need to add the, the ID as part of the URL. So in this case, we can fix this like, uh, let's create a new, a new argument here. This will be called ID, um, a new parameter actually, because this is the definition. And if we have the ID, so the query string will be different. The query string will get, uh, will have just the ID. So let's just add uh, ID and that will be the query string and i think that should fix this and in, on the details instead of calling the route here we'll pass null and the route.id will be the second parameter 
so that will make sure that we have an empty search variable here and we have a warning that we can remove react because we are not rendering anything so uh, I think this should work so now let's click on squenchy and it works I think So that fixed the error. Let's see if we have any other error. Uh, this is a, a warning because we have a class name. Uh, that's on the on the search on the details here. This should be class name because class is a reserve word in JavaScript so when we use JSX we will use class name and I think that's it so as you can see uh, by using custom hooks uh, we can remove duplicate code and make uh, our components a lot cleaner so I think that's uh, a great feature um, they are just basically functions that encapsulate other uh, other hooks, so is that's pretty helpful. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to to give a like and subscribe if you are interested in more videos. Thanks for watching.